All right, so Cat Williams said it best, man. He said that 2024 was going to be the year of exposition. It was a lot of stuff that was going to come out this year. And I don't know how he knew, but he damn sure wasn't lying. I've just come across information saying that FBG Wooski went and did a hit on somebody from King Drive, right? Ten days after Mubu Crump was taken out. The gun that FBG Wooski was caught with was the same gun that was used on the Mubu Crump hit. At approximately 2345 hours on June 3rd, 2018, Sergeant Williams, number 847 of this command assigned R.D. Zolke, number 20541, to investigate shooting that occurred at 6222 South Vernon, Chicago, Illinois, recorded under JB291792. The victim was identified as blank. A 32-year-old man, the victim was discovered in his car at 6137 South Dr. Martin Luther King Drive. The victim was transported to University of Chicago Hospital in good condition. Williams Marvell, a.k.a. Wooski, was identified as the offender and was in custody under CB number 19654156. He was taken into custody at 2321 hours on June 3rd, 2018 by BT-306A. Now, this is where it gets, you know, juicy at. I'm going to let y'all know what I'm reading. First cartridge case evaluation peer review by Chicago police, Rena Tejada Chico, forensic firearms and tool mark examiner, employee number 114228, okay? So they were saying that basically the... uh. The, the 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 cartridge case was evaluated. You know what I'm saying? Um, the results of crime scene report number 377559. BIA report number 2018-775A revealed a high confidence correlation between inventory 14187255 slash EXA1 in this case and evidence recovered in JB277522. Now, JB277522, that was the number to the Mubu Crump case. They matched the shell cases or whatever, and this was the same gun that was used in Mubu Crump's case. Now, of course, you could say, well, SCN TV, you know, guns get passed around all the time. People sell guns. People swap guns out. That's absolutely true. And that could be possible in this case. But um, what are the odds? I mean, I know these youngsters do a lot of dumb shit nowadays. But normally, when somebody's hit with a gun, motherfuckers trying to get rid of that gun. You know, normally. Niggas trying to get rid of that gun. Ain't nobody trying to get bumped with no gun that got a body on it. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, nowadays it's a little bit different. Niggas is keeping guns for souvenirs and all of that. So, you know, who knows? There's a theory that can't get right is the one, or I ain't gonna say can't get right. You know, a lot of folks say that's disrespectful. Get right, or my man, STL my man was the one that did that to Mubu Crump. And if we just being honest, this is really starting to make sense. I drop, you know, I dropped a video saying that I was starting to feel like Melly was the one that, you know, got up with Get Right. And the reason why I came up with that theory is because everybody that was close to the situation was saying Parkway didn't do it. Parkway didn't do it. They were saying that the guy who did it, STL, and certain members from, uh, you know, Gyro City was still dealing with this guy. Specifically, Get Right's sister. You know what I'm saying? They were very adamant about that. It's about three or four people that were saying the same thing. And if this is what happened, this makes a lot of sense. You know? But I still have to ask the question. And not to sound too policey or not to, you know, be on no police shit, but 
some of the evidence that the CPD be having, man, I be like, how do y'all not not solve these crimes? Like, how are y'all how are y'all missing this stuff? And the only conclusion that I could come up with is that they don't care. They not trying to solve this shit. You know what I'm saying? They really on some on, on some shit to where you know they looking at it like let these monkeys kill each other. You know. We trying to clean the city up anyway. We trying to gentrify the city, man. Let them take each other out. Y'all better wake up out here, man. You know, I thought this was very interesting. And I also, like I said, thought it went along with the theory that Melly is the one that hit Get Right. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. It's your boy SN. I'm out.